Oof, it's been a mean second since we've done a really positive video like this. So yeah, let's just jump into it. First thing I saw when I came outside today, dear person behind me, I hope your day doesn't suck. Lots of love, the person in front of you. That's a really kind and nice sweater, but I can't help but think that you really can't be upset with that sweater on. You can't have a bad day with a sweater like that. It really comes off confusing. But hey, I'm going to assume that this dude was having a great day and he wanted to spread some joy. And that's a great way of doing it. We dropped a tree on our job site and found two baby woodpeckers in it. So we cut it, taped it to another tree, and mama's back to feeding. Hey, whoever did that deserves a little bit of a pay raise. That was some solid, caring stuff. And now you have a family at the job site that you can visit. I pick up my favorite drink from the same location several times a week. A few weeks ago, I noticed that one of the baristas is hearing impaired. She gestured for me to pull my mask down to read my lips for my name. I left thinking I could do better next time. I learned some sign language in 6th grade, and I was determined to sign my name upon our next meeting. I haven't seen her in a while, but when I stopped in today, she was handling mobile orders. There were three people ahead of me, and all were signing to the best of their ability. That made my heart happy. My turn came, and I signed my name, and she cheered for me. It made me a bit emotional, and completely made my day. Thank you, Ms. Greenberger, for teaching your class on how to sign. Who knew I'd remember it almost 40 years later? It's really nice seeing people make an effort. I wouldn't think a lot of people around my area would do something like that. They would most likely write down their name or just let, you know, the barista read their lips. But to go out of your way to learn how to sign just to make somebody's job easier is extremely kind. A bookshop owner in Southampton, England has asked for help as he moves his library due to high rent and wants to move the books to the new location. The person is surprised by the presence of more than 250 young people. Elderly and special needs people were also involved too. They form a human chain where they take thousands of books and transfer them hand in hand from the old place to the new place at a distance of 500 feet. The job was done in one hour. My neighbor complained about my kids being too loud. They were. I bought her flowers and a card telling her that they aren't used to living in an apartment yet. She left me some alphabet cookies with a sweet card saying that we'll adjust together. And that was beautiful as hell. Wow, that's seriously out of character for like apartment neighbors. Usually they aren't that understanding. They just accept the flowers and the card and they tell you in the lobby to be quiet. I hope you and your neighbor become seriously good friends because that's a nice person. It's obviously hard work laying around while mom builds edging around the garden and puts down the mulch. The beautiful male dog in our dam among the native water lilies belongs next door but pops over the fence a couple of times a day for a dip and to play tag with my lot and then he goes off back to his house. Don't have the heart to tell him he shouldn't and I think he may just get in trouble if I do. Yes, I'm a softie for any animals, especially dogs. Wanted bee swarms. If you see a honeybee swarm in the greater area of Ann Arbor, please contact me ASAP. The honeybees are looking for a new home and they're not aggressive. They're just trying to reproduce by forming a new colony. I can provide them with a new home and provide you with a jar of honey. Please keep children and pets away from the swarm and do not harm the bees by spraying them with pesticides. Thanks! I have never encountered a bee swarm before and I can guarantee you that if in the event that I do, I'm gonna freak out because that is terrifying. And hearing that they're not dangerous, I mean it makes sense. They're all clustered together. They're not flying around or like being aggressive or anything like that. But my brain still says no. Stay away. <laughs> Don't touch it. There's this channel on YouTube called 628 Dirt Rooster. And this guy, he captures bee swarms, he owns a bunch of hives, and he nearly convinced me of getting a hive of my own just to have some honey in my backyard and also get comfortable around bees. But it's a really great channel, I definitely recommend you watching his content. My community built a tiny home village for the homeless population. Wow, that is awesome! Why isn't every city doing this? I'm pretty sure there's a lot of storage containers that go unused and would be, you know, great temporary homes for these people. And from what it looks like, it looks relatively modern, you know, air conditioning, it looks like there's central air, and maybe some Wi-Fi connectivity in there, maybe some electricity in there. It's enough for someone to stay in for maybe a month or two before they can get, you know, a proper job and move on with their lives. It's a seriously brilliant idea. I'm surprised that we haven't started doing this before. I was walking on the local trail today and met four men cleaning up all the trash along the sides. They told me that they do not work for our city, they just saw a need and decided to take care of it. Great guys. You'd be surprised how keeping an area clean will actually encourage people not to litter. If you don't care about your public spaces or your neighborhood being dirty, other people will treat it that way. People will litter and vandalize the area that they feel has zero value because, well, other people's done it before. A simple act like this just prevented a bunch of littering for the future. A lot of people are going to notice these people hard work or just straight up notice that the whole pathway is clear and not throw their garbage on the ground. 
man allows special needs person he doesn't know to hold his hand on a crowded bus that's really cool and considerate personally i wouldn't do that i, I like my personal space and i don't like other people touching me but i want to bet that this guy probably has a family member or a friend who's special needs and feels like hey i should help this guy out too because i help them out all the time that's the vibe that i'm catching but i could be wrong it could be a lot simpler than that this dude could simply just be a kind guy who wanted to help somebody else man 79 goes to beauty school to learn how to do hair and makeup for his wife of 50 50 years amid her vision failing that is some love right there this guy is 79 years old it's not like he has the best eyesight either but he's still going out of his way to help out his wife i really hope he picks up the skill because this is another way for them to bond i'm pretty sure they've done all of the bonding everything that a human could do to connect with another human over that long marriage right but him doing her hair i'm almost certain is uncharted territory this is no better opportunity to bond we're good Golden Bro has been handing out free flowers for people at this mall to give to their mothers. That's really nice and also a really solid way of getting business. Those moms are going to tell other people about your street act, you're going to have people watching you stand still, you're going to earn a lot of money, you're going to become super wealthy. Like, I totally see it. I get that you're trying to be nice, but I also, I also know that you're trying to benefit from this. And hey, that's a solid play. Everybody wins. Moms get to feel appreciated, you get to have some money for it. I lost my keys at the park two days ago, and I found them today on a tree branch. Huh, that's kind of smart. I never thought of doing that before. That's a solid way to put it into a conspicuous spot so that people don't just take the keys. You have to kind of look for them. And the keys are off the ground. That's some pretty clever stuff, and I wonder if that receipt in the back is a note or just a way for you to see that there's something in the tree. Either way, I will be stealing this tactic the next time I come across some keys in the park. In 1907, Jesus Garcia Corona made the decision to sacrifice his life to save the people of Nakazari, Mexico by driving a dynamite-laden train that had caught fire away from the town, realizing that if he jumped from the train, it might run out of steam and roll backwards before exploding. This next video shows a child having his first haircut and getting a little bit anxious, so everybody else starts singing so that he can feel comfortable. <laughs> My coworker is going back to school. She handed me an envelope and I nearly cried after I opened it and read it. I know that this may not be a big thing, but no one has ever gone out of their way to tell me that they appreciate me, in this genuine of a way anyway, in the 30 years of my life. Thank you so much for everything you have done for me during my time here. Although it may seem silly, you always brighten my day by saying hello, how are you? Right from the start, you made me feel welcome and I know I could always go to you if I ever needed help. Never stop being you and know that your hard work does not go unnoticed. Thank you for everything. Man, that would make anybody cry. That's so nice. I really hope that you hold on to this letter. Maybe give it a read anytime you're feeling down because you've made one person on this little planet feel really good about themselves just by being kind. You did that. You're a good person. Beginner here, I might have made a mistake. Hey, so I've been messing around with different mixes so far. I've got a cranberry apple and rebar mix. It's been fermenting nicely. I got a mint eucalyptus clove and elderflower mix that's been going sweet, and then things turn experimental. I got a ginger cinnamon black pepper nutmeg plus and cinnamon mix that will be really funky, and a coffee and vanilla. I just dissolved one and a half sugar into five liters of water and put a bottle of lemon jiff into it, and then noticed it has preservative potassium metabisulfate in it. Does that mean that there's no point in putting in the yeast? Hey dude, this sub is for the Milwaukee Brewers baseball team. Nonetheless, we also love beer. The potassium metabisulfate will likely impede yeast fermentation. 
Although this is completely based on concentration because you already prepared the solution, sugar, water, and GIF, you might as well try adding yeast to see what results you get. This whole exchange is so odd for Reddit because somebody would go out of their way to clown on this dude for using a subreddit incorrectly and this would be a great chance for everybody to take the piss out of him, right? But instead, somebody understood his misconception about the subreddit being about brewing and just answered his question. It really shouldn't come off as extremely kind or extremely considerate because it's the bare minimum, but since it's the internet and people like to be mean and snide, this is just such an antithesis to that. It's really nice to see. This doctor in Yemen wrote on his car, stop me if you need any medical consultation. Oh look, that's him on the back of the car. That's a really nice concept, just some free consultation from a doctor who just wants to help out his community. I'm pretty sure a lot of doctors would be open to doing something like that here. It can't be forced of course, but if you wanted to do some free consultation for your community, I would definitely encourage it. That sounds like an awesome way to help people out. It's been a month since I've been down here to see if Goose is still around. All the other geese have left town. Only a few around anymore. Let's see if Goose still remembers me. Hey, Goose! Hey, Goose! Hey, Goose! Oh, hi, Goose! Hi, Goose! Hi, buddy! How are you doing? How are things, how are things going, huh? Are you doing good? Hey, we watched a black Tesla with this license plate number run into your rear passenger side while parking here. Here's my number if you need a witness statement. That's new. I've never seen anybody do that before. Just leave a letter saying that they saw something happen. It's usually the other way around. They leave a letter because they did something. But I don't see why I wouldn't do the same thing if I saw somebody's car get bumped in the parking lot and then the person drive away. I would want to make sure that that person gets caught. So yeah, you're a cool dude for this. Whoever is responsible for this letter, you're awesome. In 2001, Kenny Waters, a man who was wrongly imprisoned for 18 years for murder, was finally freed after his high school dropout sister went to law school to prove his innocence. Crying at the wind, dixie the woman in jeans stepped up and paid for the groceries of the young man in, in front of her whose card was declined. He was on the phone frantically trying to figure out how to get money to pay. We all have times like this, she said. People can be amazing. Nah, I just lost my phone over eight months ago and had no idea what happened to it. It literally vanished. Today, I book an Uber and my Uber driver goes, hold on, I have some for you, and hands me my lost phone. He said he held on to it in case by chance he picked me up again. Still such nice people out here. He said he tried to tell Uber, but they didn't do anything about it. So he kept it in his car till I saw him again, so he could hand it back to me. This made my weekend. As you might know, I've been on a quest to spend all my meal points. Yesterday, I bought a ton of food and made care packages to hand out to unhoused people in St. Louis. The original plan for today was to go back and buy things in bulk and drive it up to the food bank. I don't know what I'm singing to here. But when I got to campus, the shelves were pretty bare, especially when it came to the things the food bank website said they actually needed. So I decided I would just make more care packages to hand out, and I made the white bags peanut-free just in case somebody had an allergy. I also had a follower reach out to me yesterday asking if I'd be willing to drop off a care package for them and their family because they could really use it. Obviously, I said yes, so I headed over the river to East St. Louis so that I could drop it off for them. Then I headed back to the city and got to handing out more bags. Would you like some food? Yes, please. Thank you so much. Would you like some food? Sure. Even though I made more bags today, I still ran out. Daryl! But I really wanted to get Daryl something to eat. What would you like for lunch? What do you want for lunch? Burger and fries. Burger and fries? Yep. I'll be back in 30 minutes. All right. So I headed to Shake Shack to get him a burger and fries. I know. I You switched corners on me, so I had to go around. Thank you, You're welcome. Have a good day, Daryl. Long story short, I'm out of meal points, and I want to sleep for a year. Hey, at Diamondbacks, my roommate's on a date six rows behind home plate. Any chance we could tell the cameraman to zoom out a bit so I can see how it's going? You're welcome. Aw, look at them. Yeah, they're having a good time. They're enjoying themselves.
le petit en fait, il a donné une bonne. This video is an hour and 40 minutes long, and it's about this guy's duck, and apparently it's wholesome and entertaining from start to finish. I haven't watched the video, but everybody in the subreddit who was talking about this post, they said that it was completely wonderful and very much worth that time. I might even watch it today if I have an hour to spare. And the funny thing is that I totally get it. I could talk about my dog for hours. I could write multiple books about my dog, but he's different and it's more quirky because he has a duck. My sister died yesterday, and I can't explain how much I appreciate my professor's compassion right now. Alyssa, I don't know what to write. I have two sisters, and anyway, take the time you need. No documentation needed. And you don't need to promise to not take another extension. I'm giving you the blanket flexibility in advance. You have already done good work so far, and my goal is for you to get something positive out of this class. And after what just happened, if you just participate to the extent possible, I'll make that work. Take care of yourself. <laughs> Tadi saya rasa mau kau. Dapat golong tadi, golong tadi ambil, ambil tadi ya. Nen golong kau. Dapat ke tidak? Oh, kasih dia tanggal. Ya, minta tolong mana? Kita dapat di kau sana apa ya? Kaya 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 kaya. Tidak dapat di kau sana. Jangan di kau sana. Kau tali lain boleh. Tali ujung boleh. Jangan lepas sana. Tali tu. Tidak dapat lepas. Mana yang dapat lepas tu? Yo cari. Jangan jangan sana. Jangan sana. Ambil pisau, ambil pisau. Potong, potong. Potong tali, potong tali. Potong, wi, 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 wi. Potong, wi, wi, wi. Potong. Eh, jangan semua sini. Eh, buk Jesus mana dapat? Pisau kasi ada, ada ni. Pisau kasi ada, ada ni. Laju, laju, laju. Yang pisau kasi ada, ada ni. Ini pisau. Nah, nah, nah. Ini ngalak, weh. Ini laporan terbaru tim rescue. Kau kau kopiah, kau kopiah, kau kopiah. Tu kopiah belakang. Bye bye, bye bye, bye bye, bye bye, bye bye. Wah happy dia, happy dia. Wah happy dia, happy dia. Thank you, happy dia. And our last post today is about a man named Ken. This table is reserved from 11:15 to 12:15 while we attend the funeral of a regular customer who sadly passed away last week. This was his favorite seat. Here's the coffee for you, Ken. Love the Costa Girls. What's up, everyone? It's your boy, Ailerus, AKA Panda Daddy, and I hope you enjoyed today's video. And if you did, let me know in the comments down below and leave a like if you liked the video. And if you're new to my channel, go ahead and subscribe, fam. What you doing watching videos and not subscribing? And if you're old, make sure you hit that bell so you get these notifications every time. A lot of you guys requested that we do more positive videos on occasion, so why not throw in a little bit of a humans being bro so that everybody can smile? And a big thanks to all those who make videos like this possible. A big thank you to Light1636, Broken to Asters, Jackson the Business, Lady Laughs a Lot, Brett. Mina the Swift, Esau, Izuku, Destroyer, Trey, Muffy Lou Who, Noah, Vermont, John Robinson, Eva, Catherine Taylor, Arjun, Hannah, Keith Myers, Will Billy, Dustin, and Hostmar. Thank you so much for your support. It's greatly appreciated. And if you want to help support the channel, there's two links in the description, one in my merch store and one in my Patreon. Both funds go directly into the channel so we can maintain what's happening here. And as always, stay zesty.